This price is too high. This price is too low. This price is just right in the middle. And it's just right. Or is it? While this might be good for Goldilocks, it's hardly an effective way to approach one of the most critical aspects of running a profitable shop. Setting your labor rate at the correct level keeps you profitable and allows you to draw exceptional talent. Hiring and retaining quality staff is critical to a successful shop. While culture and identity are several reasons why employees work at your shop, compensation is what they put in the bank. Ensuring your shop has a competitive labor rate will go a long way towards retaining top talent. Many shop owners believe that the best way to set labor rates is to survey the competition, determine the top or the bottom rate, then set theirs in the middle. Conventional wisdom says that if you're not the highest or the lowest, then the customer is more likely going to choose the shop in the middle. In the fashion game, some luxury retailers set prices for goods 25% higher than you can purchase from other retail outlets. The quality of the merchandise is exceptional, but what they're really known for is service that exceeds the expectations of the pickiest customers. Other stores, which advertise the lowest price in town, tend to focus on the value shopper. They may be convenient, but service and quality may not rank at the highest level. Each retailer occupies its respective space, which, based on their business model, allows them to operate a profitable enterprise. While one caters to customers who appreciate quality and service ahead of price, the other draws the value-conscious buyer. The space left in between is an area I call the deadly middle. Buyers are drawn to inexpensive or high quality. They rarely believe that average is good enough. Be careful when setting your labor rate as it compares to the rest of your market. Does your labor rate say, we're not good enough to charge the most, or come to us because we'll save you money? The industry benchmark for gross profit on labor is 72%. Your cost should be 28% of your collected labor dollars. There are calculators you can use to quickly determine where you stand. Performing a phone survey of your competition may seem to be a great way to help you know where your prices are trending. Be careful though, you should never discuss labor rates and pricing with competitors. The Federal Trade Commission has strict laws against price fixing as the consumer expects prices to be set independently and relevant to supply and demand. Determining your realistic labor rate may seem too difficult, but not doing it may be the difference between business success and failure. Find the balance between charging a fair price that allows your shop to remain competitive, retain and draw customers, and at the same time provide a great wage to your employees that allows your shop to be highly profitable. I'm Vic Tarasik. Thanks for watching.